Hello and ciao all of our lovers. Welcome to another episode of Zuki Recipes. Today we are going to be making a orecchiette pasta dish with spinach, butternut squash, some spicy chili pepper oil, garlic, almonds, parmesan cheese. Fantastic, fantastic dish for fall. Let's get into it. So let's dive into the ingredients. I've got about a pound of pasta or about 450 grams of orecchiette pasta. This is dry pasta. I also have roasted butternut squash. This is one whole butternut squash that I roasted and cubed the night before. You could prepare this ahead of time. And then we have some washed spinach leaves, uh, slightly chopped up a little bit. There's about six cups of this. We have some Parmesan cheese, which we'll grate on at the end, some fresh whole cloves of garlic, almonds, which we'll top at the end, and then the very, very special ingredient, which is Zuki chili pepper oil. This, this oil has a really wonderful spicy kick, and I think that it pairs really, really nicely with the sweetness of the butternut squash. All right, so let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is get our pasta started because while we're cooking everything else, the pasta's gonna be cooking and then it's all gonna come together at the end. So first off, we wanna make sure we salt our water very, very generously. So I already have some water over here that's up to boiling. And I'm just gonna do about two palmfuls of salt. And this will vary depending on how much water you have and how much pasta you're cooking. And next we're going to add our pasta, our orecchiette, to the boiling salted water. And we'll just give that a little stir. And those will be cooking while we cook the sauce. So first off, we're going to add a little bit of the Zuki chili pepper extra virgin olive oil. Again, this has a nice spicy kick. So if you don't like too spicy, I would suggest maybe using just a regular olive oil and then using this on at the end so you can control the quantity. If you like spicy, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and start off with this. So we're gonna do a couple tablespoons of olive oil in here. And you'll see that some of the chili peppers came out of the bottle, which is absolutely fine. Again, if you are um, sensitive to spice, you might wanna remove those because they will add a lot of heat. But if you love spice, you can keep them in. You can actually break them up with everything else. So we're gonna heat this over medium to low heat. And then I'm going to smash my garlics, uh, garlic cloves over here. Just so I can remove the skin a little bit and we'll leave them whole like that. So we're gonna add these to our pan. Let that heat up just a little bit. And as soon as this really starts to become fragrant um, and really start to smell the garlic, then we can add in the rest of the ingredients. But to start, we're gonna start to kind of get this a little bit sizzling and brown. Okay, so the garlic is nice and fragrant. It's just starting to sizzle a little bit and it's been sizzling for about a minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and add our butternut squash. And we're just gonna add this in just to heat it up and get it a little bit brown on the outside, just to bring out the flavor and really meld together all of the spicy chili pepper oil and the garlic. And again, I love, love, love the play between the spicy chili pepper oil and the sweetness of the butternut squash. And this is really like a fun, sort of variation on the typical orecchiette pasta dish, which you often see with uh, sausage and turnip greens or broccoli rabe, um, often has some garlic and spicy chili pepper oil. But here, instead of using meat, we're actually using butternut squash. Um, so you kind of are getting those fall flavors and it's a great vegetarian, also vegan dish uh, that you can make for friends or family during the fall season. Okay, the butternut squash is nice and brown. Everything smells delicious. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add our spinach here. Again, this is about six cups. And we're just gonna let this wilt down in the pan. This is great because it's really a one pot kind of meal. I'm gonna mix all this up. Try to get some of that spinach underneath 
And here you could add just a little bit more salt here just so that we're salting every step of the way. So while that's cooking, we're gonna test the pasta. We're gonna see how it's doing, see if it's ready yet. So I'm just gonna pull one little orecchiette out. And I always test pasta for its thinness by tasting it. Um, I don't really follow times, although you can follow the time on the box, but to me, I like to taste it and see if it's al dente enough for my taste. Everyone has a different preference when it comes to pasta texture, um, but I, I like to taste it first, so let's see. Okay, we're almost there. Probably a couple more minutes there. It's got a lot of flavor, so we salted the water good enough, which is great. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add the pasta directly to the pan. And I like to do this sort of from the pot to the pan method because to me, um, it gets all the pasta water in with the sauce and helps everything meld together versus draining it in a colander. You kind of lose a lot of that nice starchy water. And this is typically the way that the Italians do it. So we're gonna just spoon it directly into the pasta and everything is gonna just cook together in this pan for a couple more minutes. And you could use any kind of pasta here, really. We're using orecchiette, but you could use fusilli, uh, a bow tie pasta if you wanted to. Um, you could even use a spaghetti or a longer pasta. Okay, so now our pasta is in here. We're going to just mix everything up and if it feels like it's a little dry, you can always add more pasta water. Okay, so now that we've got everything in here, I'm gonna turn this back down on low and just let it cook for one or two more minutes just so that everything is really melded together. Amazing, all right, we're gonna turn this off and then we're gonna plate everything up. Okay, so I'm gonna be plating our pasta and giving the final touch. Gosh, this looks so good. As the final touch, we're going to just add a little bit of chopped almonds. You could use any nut. I really like the nuttiness uh, of the almond and how it pairs with the butternut squash. So we're just gonna put a little bit on there. It just adds a little bit of that crunchy texture. And then two more things. We're gonna add a tiny bit of cheese. And for the final, final touch, and this is absolutely optional, if you wanna add just a little bit more of the spicy kick from the chili pepper oil, we can just drizzle on a tiny bit more. And again, this stuff is pretty potent, so uh, if, if you're sensitive to spice, you might wanna use less of this. Mm. Hmm. Wow. 